What's going on, my Fly Happy family? It's your boy Izzy. Welcome if you're new. Well, the fever dropped it. <laughs> and uh, we're about to get into why they did. But before we do that, y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up for your boy if you like the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit at least 12.9 by the end of the day, man. So if y'all can help me out with that, I highly appreciate it. And don't forget to get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this. Let's get it. All right, so to make this quick, um, to sum up this game, basically the Fever just wasn't boxing out on defense, man. They were allowing the offensive rebound to go crazy for the Lynx. They weren't closing out on the perimeter very well, getting lost on defense. Uh, they really lost this game themselves, not going to lie. But can't take away the effort and the gameplay that the Lynx did. They definitely went crazy, especially, uh, especially their bench. They went absolutely nuts. Um, but, yeah, that was the main thing I was seeing. The Timmy and the Nalissa Smith minutes need to switch. Kelsey Mitchell, if she's not getting it going, it's going to be a hard time for the Fever. Like I always said, Kelsey Mitchell is the one to get that, hey, where are we going to get the next bucket type of shot off. Um, so she wasn't having that going tonight. That was a big problem. But, yeah, nonetheless, I feel like the defensive side – Really took them out of the game. And then, honestly, the um, the third quarter was the worst. 29 for 12. That really lost them the game. So, let's get into some of the stats. We're going to go through this really quick. Uh, Nafisa, of course, 26 points, 2 assists, 10 rebounds. Didn't shoot very well from the 3, but so effective. She was very effective out there. She's going to get what she's going to get. That's just the way I feel about it. Um, let me actually reload because I want to see all the stats. There we go. So, um, what she had? No blocks, no steals? Okay, cool. Oh, no. She had two blocks and two steals. Okay. So, yeah, Nafisa, look, and took care of the free throw line. She's going to get what she's going to get. Highly an MVP candidate. Highly an MVP candidate, for sure. Uh, Carlton, man, what can I say? What can I say? Four for nine from three, five for ten from the floor, 16 points, three assists, four rebounds was going in out there, doing it all for the team. 13 points from Smith. She was uh, 50%, 2 for 5, took care of the line. I mean, the thing about the Lynx, they really, really do a great job at finding their spots on the court, getting to where they want to be, um, and playing team ball on that offensive side. They play so well. Even on defense, they really com – it's like they're communicating out there very well. I know how much my fever – family don't like <laughs> don't like uh Reeves but she is a good coach man she is a good coach she has the links looking so good they are looking amazing the fever do not want to play them in the playoffs man now I know I say I don't I know I say there's no team that want to see the fever but the fever don't want to see the links man the fever do not want to see the links at all 15 points. Um, oh, did I say Williams? I, I, my bad if I mess up right here. But Williams, 15 points, uh, four assists, seven rebounds, six for 16, three for four from the three. I mean, they were amazing tonight. And then even the bench. Look at the bench. Giving, giving all this good stuff here. <laughs> one steal, one steal, two steals, two assists, two assists, five assists. Eight points, eight points, three, seven. That's 26 points from your bench. That is nuts. That is nuts. Like, they were going in, man. So, shout out to the Lynx. Just a hell of a game from them. Um, now, let's talk about the fever. Nalissa did not have a good day at all. Bad shooting, bad everything there. Um, Boston, she did better today. Um, didn't shoot good from the three. I feel like Boston just – sometimes she get that ball down there and she just loses it. If she, like, show that strength – I know she have enough strength to hold on to it, but she be losing the ball sometimes. That kind of get me. Um, Boston, Timmy, both was lost under the um, under the basket. The back doors, the baseline back doors, they were tearing them up with them. Tearing them up with them. And Boston has to do a better job boxing out and getting those defensive boards. Have to, have to, have to, have to do a better job. But overall, 20 points, 
9 for 15. It's not a bad day. I would just like to see her box out more, show that big energy, you know. Not bad, though. Um, Kelsey Mitchell, 23 points, 7 for 19, 4 for 8 from the 3. She shot 50% from the 3. Like I said, she didn't get it going. This doesn't really tell it all. She didn't really get it going right away how they needed it. But um, at the end of the day, she still found a way to get to 23 points. <sighs> she had a bad day with turnovers. I mean, the, the game got sloppy in the third quarter. They was doing so well in the first quarter. They were doing so well. But that third quarter, it got so messy and sloppy. That's what kind of took them out of the game. But nonetheless... Kelsey Mitchell couldn't get to what she was trying to get to tonight. She was missing the ones that usually go in, and that's okay because those are 50, like, you have a 50-50 chance of making every shot, but the shots that she usually make, it's like a 40-60, like you know. Um, those shots, those shots are tough to make, all right? We can admit that. Those shots that she make are miracle shots. And you don't want to really bank on the miracle shot so much, but that's what she does to get the team hot, to get the team over the hump when they can't figure out how to get a bucket. So we know Kelsey Mitchell's game, but it's okay. She couldn't get it going like that tonight. Um, Lexi Hall, always hustling. And the problem with the fever was they were not finding Lexi open. She was open a few times, like in the corner and at the uh, side wing. She was wide open a few times, but – she was just getting ignored tonight. I don't know why, but she was getting ignored. Two for two from three. You got to feed it to the hot hand. I think this was one of those nights where Lexi could have possibly gave them the 22 points like she did before. But they were ignoring her. I don't know why. But she finished off with eight points. Uh, she had one block, two steals, three, three assists, nine rebounds. She was hustling, man. She was really getting it in. But I feel like her minutes should have been up there in the 38. No lie. Caitlin Clark, let's talk about her, man. 25 points, 8 assists, 8 rebounds, 8 for 21 from the floor. So not the best shooting overall, but she did shoot 50% from the three and took care of the line. Not a bad day. I know she would have wanted the turnovers down because it got sloppy in that third quarter. Like I said, that was the only quarter that lost it. They lost it right there. Um, although they were losing it, on the defensive rebound that was getting crashed out on the boards, they still had a chance to win this game. And I think the third quarter just put them down too far and they couldn't come back. But not too bad from Caitlin Clark. Like I said, I know she would want to shoot better. Eight for 21. Anybody would want to shoot better from the floor. But she did do a better job from the three. Um, the bench. Let's just look at the bench. Five, two, and three. Kind of empty here. You got two and four here from uh, Timmy. If you compare the bench, this bench gave you 10 points compared to this bench giving you 26. That's a huge story in the game, too. The Fever ran out of gas. They ran out of gas here. They ran out of gas. That Lynx team is a complete team. But, yeah, man, that's what I saw in the game, man. How do y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comments. I love y'all. Y'all keep it smooth.